Yeah, good morning everyone. Now I'm going to discuss uh, one of the important uh, annotation uh, in uh, Spring and Spring Boot applications when we are developing uh, RESTful web services. So the annotation is uh, Add Thread Controller. So the advanced version of Add Thread Controller is, there is uh, under is REST controller, Add Thread REST controller. So what is the difference between Add Thread controller and Add Thread REST controller annotations? in uh, spring and uh, spring boot applications uh, so here if we go through this advanced con uh, annotation rest controller so what is rest controller so rest controller is the comprising part or the shortcut part for the controller so it is a combination of uh, rate controller plus rate Add response body. So, if we uh, ask like, what is the rest, uh, rest controller? It is the latest con um, annotation. It is nothing but add controller plus response body. So, what is the controller and what is response body? We'll go into deeper on that. First, we'll go to what is controller. So, in any web applications or uh, services, uh, we have like if we see web applications uh, like uh, Spring uh, or uh, Struts frameworks we have mvc model architecture so what is mvc model view controller so we use like a user uh, interface where it is developed in html which uh, interact with the uh, uh, client client uh, is in giving some input from the ui and that uh, request is reached to controller so controller so in spring what is the controller so there are different types of controller the one is the main one is the front controller so here front, uh, front controller it takes every request from the client so each request is routing through front controller so now front controller will decide uh, like where it has to propagate this request where it has to give like uh, which handlers uh, will handle this so here handlers are nothing but the controllers there are different types of controllers uh, we will define to perform the user uh, uh, requests to handle the user request and uh, respond back to the user so front controller look into the class path for the classes which are configured configured with address controller so those are like a uh, handler classes for the front, front controller to handle the requests so now you got idea like uh, how why we are using this controller address controller so what are the classes which are having address controller are eligible for handling the user requests okay now we will go to the response body what is response body to understand response body we need to understand what is the request body so what is the request body and what is response body we will go through the code and we will see uh, how exactly the uh, meaning and uh, uh, details so here is a uh, simple uh, spring class uh, add rate controller and add rate uh, response body i have given at class level and uh, uh, this is the method i am going to uh, give for uh, some uh, handle some requests so this is controller so uh, this it can be handle any uh, requests to handle any request I am configuring this method with some URI so here yeah I am using annotation request mapping and in this mapping I am uh, conferring with the uh, URI as like let's say authentication uh, this method so I am giving annotation as auth uh in this and request method i'm taking a post request uh, to get the data from uh, request body okay uh, now we'll see uh, this is a uh, this can now handle a request with the uri auth this is the handler now uh, let me uh, hit through postman and see uh, this is a application uh, this is a URL I am calling uh, for the URI auth with the post request as I have configured post method only 
uh, so here I'm giving like some username is random a and password is uh, some random b and I'm sending the request okay so the request I'm sending as a JSON here if you see it is a JSON format uh, uh, username and password uh, username key and uh, value some value and password key and some value and I hit so I got some response but you, uh, what is happening here so request is reached here and this is got executed but I didn't receive the username and password here I am trying to print the username and password because why it didn't understand because outside world is sending uh, some JSON object like uh, postman is sending JSON object but uh, JSON object uh, I couldn't understand like uh, my application is configured with some Java object so Java object is expecting this method is expecting some Java object user bean object but outside world is giving some JSON so someone has to transform this object so who will transform for that we need to con configure request body so request body what it will do uh, request body takes outside world input they might be sending xml or json or string so outside world's input and it convert into java understandable object so here postman is sending json object json list it is and here request body converts the json list and transformed into user bean by populating user bean fields username and password we will see now uh, whether those inputs are reaching to my service yeah i send again this uh, username and password so now my service is able to understand username and password so because uh, request body transformed the uh, outside world json and converted to uh, java understandable object now what is the response body we understood request body so response body is something uh, which transform uh, our java object into outside understandable objects so here one thing uh, for some client is interacting with our application our application is developed in java and spring and outside application might not be developed in uh, java uh, so uh, they didn't understand what is json uh, what is uh, java object but they can understand uh, what is uh, json object and json request and what is xml what is string so they will send the uh, input in <coughs> xml or json and they are also expecting the input in xml or json because they cannot understand uh, java object so response body is uh, responsibility is to transform our uh, java object and convert into a client required uh, format probably json or xml so that is so here uh, we already given response body and if you see output it is coming as json means response body annotation uh, by default converting a java object this is a java object it is converting and returning right here this converted into json and return that's the reason uh, whatever the properties in java object these properties are converted into json and return back so, so for better understanding I will uh, configure with XML and we will see how the response body is uh, transforming our Java object into uh, other formats like uh, XML. So here produces by default I am giving application JSON. So this is a default format if you won't give also it uh, uh, response body converts our uh, response into application JSON.
this one so now i am trying to convert it to xml so i am giving a uh, producers as uh, xml application xml means i am asking a response body to convert my response info bin object which i am returning to a xml format so i am saving this one and let's see what output will will get i am giving some numbers uh, to differentiate uh, from the previous requests i have given username and password uh, numbers and i am sending the requests yeah here we got the response but now we got the response as xml because i am directing the response body uh, annotation to produce the response as application xml to produce in xml due to that reason response body is uh, returning the response in xml so now you understand what is the request body and what is the purpose of request body and what is the purpose of response body so now uh, we understood like uh, controller and response body instead of this one java come, came up with a new annotation called uh, rest controller so this become handy because uh, let's say i have multiple application uh, methods so in each method i no need to give uh, response body so i can remove this response body here and from here i can simply use a rest controller so that it is performing as a controller plus uh, giving the response as user required format so it's comprises of controller plus response body annotation now we'll see i have given instead of a controller annotation and instead of a response body annotation i have simply give rest controller and i am uh, giving some input from here uh, from the postman yeah we got the response even though if you use a rest controller without response body we got the uh, proper input and output yeah that's all about uh, rest controller and uh, control differentiation and in between we discussed about uh, request body and response body and uh, yeah uh, that's all uh, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel